Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Fruity Loop Studio 10 on Mac. Uh, now this isn't straight up uh, you know, a native program, you're going to have to be running the Windows version uh, inside of uh, either Wine or Crossover, uh, something along those lines. Or if you're really picky and want to uh, have everything work perfectly, you could even technically install a virtual machine and run it through that. Um, but I'm going to be showing you the Crossover version. Uh, in my opinion, that's the easiest, and it seems to work completely perfectly for me. I've, I have heard people talk about there being issues with latency from keyboard if you're trying to do it uh, do it live or anything like that, um, which apparently there is a workaround for using a Wine version of Osseo drivers, um, but I haven't quite been able to figure that one out yet, and I haven't really had a need um, but if I do ever figure that one out, I will update the video accordingly. Um, uh, ImageLine is actually working on a Mac version, from what I hear, and in fact the Mac version actually uses a customized version of Crossover that uh, ImageLine has been working with um, working with Code Weavers to get going. Uh, so this is, uh, this is um, Crossover here. It is not free, but you can get a free trial. And of course, anything is free on the internet if you know where to look, so I'll just leave that out there. But anyway, uh, I'll be using Crossover and just the demo of uh, FL Studio to demonstrate this to you. Uh, in theory, this should work fine, you know, exactly the same for the registered version of the software, but I can't speak for that because I do not own a copy of uh, Fruity Loop Studio. Just been trying out the demo here. Uh, anyway, so you just want to download this Windows demo here, and that's what we're going to get to work. So let's close all this out, and then what you want to do is launch Crossover once you've installed that. Uh, if it's your first time installing Crossover, you'll see like a welcome screen that says Install Software. Uh, I turned that off, so I actually need to go to Configure Install Software. Um, okay, so once you're in here, uh, it'll give you a list of all this software that it's pre-configured to install perfectly um, but what we actually need to do is do other application because it doesn't you know, directly support uh, Fruity Loop Studio and then you just want to do choose installer file and just browse to wherever you've got this installer at uh, through mine on my desktop and just choose use this installer and now this next section here it says we'll install into a new Windows XP bottle uh, which is exactly what we want. If you use Vista, I found it doesn't work, and 2000 doesn't work, 98 doesn't work, so XP is your only option here, which is perfectly fine. Uh, and then you want to type in you know, a name for the bottle. I recommend just giving it something useful. Um, if you do plan on using Crossover for a lot of other stuff, I do recommend making a new bottle for every single program, which technically takes up a bit of space, but um, Sometimes these bottles can get corrupted or something, and it's better if you don't lose everything. So, anyway, FL Studio 10 is what I'm going to call mine, and then I'm just going to hit install. It'll create the, uh, the the required libraries to actually be able to run this installer, and then it will open up the installer. Then we hit. Then you just go through it the same way you normally would. Install anything you want. I'll go ahead and install Decadance. That's kind of cool. Uh, next. And there you go, C program files, image line, FL Studio, next, next. I don't want to install tune up utilities, next, and install. So it'll go through all the installations here. Now there is a there is one thing that it's not able to finish installing correctly just due to this sort of setup, and that is uh, telling Windows where uh, the they're called Augvorbis plugins. It's just an audio format plugin, uh, but for some reason, it's not able to write to the Windows file that tells Windows where that file is, and so you have to manually go into that. We'll, I'll show you how to do that as soon as this is done. And I, I have to say, uh, if Crossover is worth the money for anything, it's actually their customer support. Um, they have very nice. Uh, very nice support sections for just about any program that people have tried to run in in crossover on their site uh, so in fact the the fix that we need I'm just basically going to be following the guide that's on their site okay so Osseo for all um, 
you don't need to install this actually. I'm installing it really just for the heck of it. Um, because we're actually going to be using just the uh, the wine audio wrapper or whatever you want to call it. Alright, and this is installing Decadance right now. I'm going to pause the recording and unpause once it's done. And there we go. Installer is done. Everything should be about finished. Oh, license agreement. Oh, whoops, never mind. That was just downloading the installer. Whoops. Oh well. Anyway, going through this. This should be quick. There we go. Okay. So Fruity Loops is done installing. Uh, I don't recommend running it after the install. Um, so I'm going to uncheck Run FL Studio. Uh, because what we actually need to do... Actually, I am going to go ahead and uh, run it. Uh, just so that... Oh my god. <laughs> so many windows. Um, yeah, it's basically right now it's opening up all the windows that... Uh, have the shortcuts that uh, that Fruity Loops installed on our fake Windows system here, and you can see it makes a lot, so it pretty much just opened up a new window for everything. Okay. Anyway, so once this is done, you'll see this window is still here. You can just hit done, and we are now mostly good to go. But I'm gonna go ahead and try and run this, and so I'm trying to remember where those programs are. You can go up to crossover programs and there it is, image line FL Studio 10. Uh, I'm gonna launch the extended memory version because it seems to work fine. So, Okay, and now this is one error that I haven't been able to get around. Basically it tries to load the demo song every time it starts and for some reason it can't find it uh, and it gives you two errors for that and then it continues loading it so I don't know. All right, now this error is the one that I'm going to show you how to fix. Some data files requir required by this project could not be located, blah, 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 and it gives you all the WAV files. Um, so that's the thing where we have to uh, tell it where the uh, the codecs are that it tried to install and failed. Um, but this should be working perfect aside from those few... Uh, Yep, so anyway, that works currently, except for you can see these vocals didn't load because there's a problem with the, the codec. So, we're going to go into fixing that right now. And the fix for that, I'm actually going to steal directly from uh, uh, Crossover's website. So let's just go to Crossover. Crossover for Mac. Alright, and then you want to go to What Runs. Type in FL Studio. It'll bring up FL Studio 10. Click on that. And then you want to go to Tips and Tricks. And here we go, getting audio samples to work. Unlocking the demo, interesting. So this is actually probably how you uh, would register if you have the registration. Um, and apparently that does work, but I guess there is a tip and trick that you have to use for it. So if you want to register, use this. All right, getting audio samples to work. This is extremely easy. Uh, basically, you just want to copy this line here. I'll put it in the description of the video. You want to copy it without the quotes. Uh, copy and then what we need to do is go back into crossover here go to configure manage bottles and then make sure your uh, FL Studio bottle is selected go to advanced open C drive and here we go alright so we want to browse to windows and then system.ini and you just want to open this uh, you'll, have, you'll probably have to do open with other and then choose text edit it is fine for this and just hit open okay now the only thing you have to do is right below this last line just add another line and paste what we copied and then just hit Apple S to save because for some reason there isn't just a straight up save option in there anyway uh, so once you've saved that we should be good to go just to be safe I'm actually going to go ahead and restart this bottle um, sometimes that can uh, help things run a little smoother okay so we have now restarted Windows just by going to the control panel simulate reboot just double click that and it'll do it very fast alright so we want to go to programs image line FL studio 10 extended memory in this case and it'll launch and it'll still give you this this error I haven't figured out how to get rid of that but everything else should now work so if we go file open let's do new stuff which is the default demo song 
we should now have audio and you can see it managed to load the uh, the vocals here so this is now working cool and there you go that's how you get a uh, FL studio working on uh, working on Mac currently until they come out with a real one uh, if you guys have any trouble feel free to leave me a comment I'm not sure if I'll be able to help you um, if you did buy a uh, crossover then you can definitely you know ask them for support and uh, they'll hopefully be able to help you out a bit more since ImageLine has been working with code weavers closely it seems like they already have solutions for everything so that's pretty cool um, yeah, so the only thing that I haven't figured out yet is that uh, the Osseo trick, if you really, really need to get no latency, and I haven't been able to find any guides on that. But again, if I do figure it out, I'll update this video. So I hope this helped you guys out, and I'll see you later.